fellow YouTube and fellow Star Wars collectors. On this episode of Toys Are The Way, we will be taking a look at a highly anticipated character from the first wave of vintage collection figures for 2024, Count Dooku from Attack of the Clones. If you're new to the channel or a fan of Star Wars collecting, be sure to smash a like on this video, remember to subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell to stay notified. And a special thank you to my channel members, your support is greatly appreciated. Welcome back everyone. So once again, we have another character from the most recent wave of vintage collection figures that's kicking off 2024 and it is Count Dooku from Attack of the Clones, a highly anticipated character who actually won the SWTVC March Madness bracket last year. And while that's not officially endorsed by Hasbro or anything, they are paying attention and it's really nice to see a character who's got a lot of community support make their way into the vintage collection. Also, I personally like seeing a lot of prequel trilogy love and this is the first all new prequel trilogy figure that we've seen in TVC 2.0. So with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the packaging and figure. Taking a look at the card back, we have our classic vintage style packaging with Count Dooku on a cerulean blue name pill color with the Star Wars and Attack of the Clones logo placed prominently up top. We have a nice image of the character from the movie with the Kenner logo down below and I've just got to say that that Force Lightning looks fantastic as it guides the eye this way and you see this wonderful vintage collection figure nicely displayed on this bubble. All in all, a very good looking card back in my opinion. On the back, he is VC 307 in the line, Count Dooku, and there's a small blurb about the character as well as another image of the figure and card back with the Vintage Collection logo as well. So as I mentioned before, this is an exceptionally good looking card back, and I really look forward to adding this one to my carded collection. Count Dooku is long overdue in the Vintage Collection, and it feels great to finally add this one to my display. Taking a look at Count Dooku out of the packaging, I have got to say that this is a marvelous figure, and this is the level of quality that I want to see for all main characters and villains in the Vintage Collection. A job well done, Hasbro. First thing I want to point out is the portrait, which is just done very, very well. It looks like the character and the actor, and I just cannot be happier with that. This is going to be a huge upgrade for our shelves. And then, of course, we have great articulation here. We have the new style barbell hips with a swivel at the thigh, which is going to help for posing as well as ball jointed everything and rocker ankles. So you will not have any problems achieving a wide variety of action poses for Count Dooku. And while, you know, Count Dooku didn't do a ton in like the movies, he was much more agile in like the Clone Wars and stuff like that. So you're going to get some great posing out of this figure. He also holds the lightsaber very well. It's even got a hinge at the wrist, which is really good for his type of lightsaber like battling, this kind of like fencing um, stances that he does. So that's really cool to see. And then the cape, love soft goods, way better than plastic capes in my opinion. And it just drapes on him very nicely and you can move his arms up and it doesn't really, you know, bunch up too badly if you know how to pose this figure um, accurately and stuff like that. So pretty good stuff. It doesn't have, you know, like a chain or anything. It's kind of like, a bit more of a string here that's got a little bit of a metallic to it or something. And I think that looks pretty good. But yeah, all things looking pretty good on Count Dooku. And this is just going to be, like I said, a huge upgrade for your shelf. So really, really good stuff here. And then taking a look at the accessories, we have the Force Lightning Effect, which is a really cool one to get. And you simply just remove his hand and then take this one and place the peg in like so, which allows you to recreate that memorable scene in Attack of the Clones when Count Dooku uses Force Lightning. This one is definitely the same uh, Force Lightning effect that comes with Palpatine. It just has different paint applications on it to make it, you know, not look like Palpatine's Sith hand. Um, you also get the unlit saber hilt, which pegs into his belt right here. Another great accessory that should come with all Jedi and Sith characters. So all around a pretty good looking figure with these accessories, in my opinion. Here we have a comparison of the vintage collection figure on the right with the old Sith Evolutions Dooku on the left. And these two are just worlds apart. The new vintage collection one just looks stunning when compared to that old, not so accurate figure. And anyone who said that that figure was good enough is just greatly mistaken. The level of detail that's been captured in this new figure, the way the cloak has been done, the portrait, the articulation, everything is just way better. So I am very happy to see this character make their way into the vintage collection as a proper definitive release. 
This all new from the ground up figure is truly worthy of recognition in the archives of the Jedi Order. Count Dooku is another excellent display of proper tooling for main characters in the vintage collection and continues to exceed my expectations keeping 375 alive. Fully loaded with new style barbell hips, ball jointed everything, hinges at the wrists, and rocker ankles, this figure poses effortlessly. Additionally, the sculpting on this action figure is top notch and crafted in such a way that none of the folds on Dooku's attire seem to hinder his range of motion. Furthermore, the soft plastic used on the lower part of the tunic has been designed well and does not hamper the figure's ability to take a seat as he holds meetings with Separatist leadership or flees the Battle of Geonosis on his speeder. Between the exceptional sculpting, portrait with paint applications, and overall posing ability of this figure, I have to say that I am very impressed with our first new prequel trilogy figure in TVC 2.0. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taking a look at this prequel trilogy figure, Count Dooku from Attack of the Clones. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps and is always greatly appreciated. Thanks everyone and may the force be with you.